All right, yes, you welcome back to the balanced diet of teletainment this morning. Now, if you check your agogo, you go see the next bus stop all day, you consign any woman where they in business at this point in time because we know, say, for even any business where you day, at some point, you go need to expand. And when you talk about expansion, you're talking about funds to be able to expand that business. That's why we get her in the studio. Now, she now a uh, marketing and sustainability expert with over 10 years of management and leadership experience. She don't work for fashion house. She don't work for marketing and even manufacturing industry. She get first degree in biochemistry and she can't get MBA in global um, global business. Now she has somebody waiting inside here because she not only gets a book which she go come talk about but she also has a grant, um, a program where we go give grants to women in business. Help us make welcome this morning Ifed Dayo Durosimi Eti. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you Welcome so much for having show. me. Good to have you in the house. Now, looking at your profile, I see say, um, a business where you get in 2016, Palermo Bambini, mm -hmm. say they select them as one of the companies whose idea can transform Africa yeah. by the Tony Elumilu Foundation. Yes. Now, I know say, we get lots of businesses for inside Obodo, Nigeria, where they've tried to find platforms like this to exhibit themselves. Some of them actually go forward, but in a way, they know they actually make them through. What can be those mistakes where businesses they actually make, especially startups they make for inside in Nigeria? Hmm. Okay, so I think, say, <laughs> I'm going to try to No, say, but you can stick to the one yes. that fits. Okay, I, I think that um, a lot of people don't know how to present themselves very professionally. For example, I just put up this um, grant opportunity, and I've said, okay, people should upload videos of themselves on Instagram, you know, pitching their businesses and why they need funding. And some of the videos have, I have seen haven't been very, very impressive. Like someone was lay, laying down on a pillow while they were presenting themselves. Somebody was wearing like a singlet. You know, sometimes, so if you, if you have that kind of attitude in a video, I can imagine the kind of attitude you Your would business. have when you are even you know, presenting yourself when they ask you like interview questions. Sometimes if they ask you, okay, define your, or what's your personal profile? Because most of the grantors prefer to, they want to invest in you, even if they want to invest in your business, but they want to invest in you first. So they ask you, what's your personal profile? Some people will just start talking about different things, about how their family members are all doctors and lawyers, talking about their family tree. Instead of them just going, you know, direct and straight to the point, talk about, you know, your skills, you can talk about your background, you know, your educational background, what you've done, things like that. So some people just go off tangent and it's just, it's, sometimes it's quite, you know, ridiculous when assessors have to go through that. And sometimes um, some, um, robots actually even fizzle out these um, applications, wrong applications. Sometimes they might say, oh, submit in Times New Roman. You might go and submit in Calibri. You know, so depending on the way you present yourself, you need to know your products. You need to have your unique selling proposition. You know, there's so many things that people look at. You need to also make sure that you have a sustainable business model. And these are some of the things that you have to, you know, project in any application that you're submitting. They need to know that that business is also sustainable. Or if, you're, or if it's even a project, they need to know the sustainability, you know, agenda, if you're going to continue looking for funding, if you're going to, even if you're an NGO, charge some of the people for um, your services, even if it's going to be subsidized, you know, things like that. You need to also talk about your monitoring and evaluation. Some people don't even know that they need to show that um, there's some things that they need to put in place when they're going to, you know, submit these applications. So once you have, you know, an idea of the things that you need to submit, then it's always, it's always better for you. And those are some of the things I've spoken about in my book. All right, talking about your book now, because plenty of this is what you call now. now for some people, the blessing is a big, big grammar for them. They don't understand. <laughs> some people, and this, come, this this boils down to the foundation of any business where anybody gets, because some of the things where you talk, now some things we, we need to get in place if you just start up your business. Mm -hmm. Nobody say you want to jump, go go get skyscraper when you never do the foundation yeah. well. So just um, talking about your book, Waiting and Waiting, Person Fee Benefit from Reading the Book. And the title of the book is Assessing Grants for Startups. Yeah, um, some of the things you can benefit uh, are things like the way you can and present yourself when you're when you're um, submitting a grant proposal. I've even given examples of some of the ways you can present yourself. I also have exercises where you can also write some of these things you're doing. And you know, sometimes if you're reading something, some things might pop up in your head. So I've left like some spaces where you can actually itemize some of these things so that it's more practical. I also spoke about some people who have also received grants or other business opportunities such as fellowships or accelerator programs or being part of different incubator programs. And I've talk talked about their success stories and how these have impacted their lives and their businesses. So once you read those things, they're very inspiring. I know somebody who, you know, finished from school, 
got a grant of about five thousand dollars, and from there, straight on, he knew he wasn't going back to, you know, he wasn't going to even look for a nine-to-five job. So if you don't know that these opportunities are available, or if nobody recognizes you, you might not even know the potential that you have. And I think that's also the same thing that happened with me. I never really wanted to be, you know, an entrepreneur. I just, you know, saw a need and or a gap in the market, and you know, I just tried to fill up that gap. And from there, I saw that the others kept on coming, and I knew that it was an, a, an actual problem that other people were also facing. So I, some of the other things I spoke about, so some of the things that you can expect in the book are sustainable development goals. A lot of people don't know anything about sustainable development goals. And I think it's very important for people to know that these goals exist. And if some people even send me messages asking me, oh, what kind of business can they start? The sustainable development goals are, are things that the United Nations have itemized and said that, you know, these are issues, you know, that are happening around the world globally. So if you, if you can fine tune your project or fine tune your business in line with those goals, so if you're solving some of those goals, if you're solving things in education, if you're solving things, you know, that can help reduce poverty. If you're solving, you know, decent work and economic growth, you know, most people are likely to get funding if you if you're actually solving a problem. But if you're not actually solving a problem, if you say, oh, you like bread, so you're going to start selling bread, it's not going to work. You know, you need to make sure that you know you you make sure that there's actually a problem. I met someone who said that he wanted to um, start selling chickens. Zatek was in that um, area, and he wanted to start selling chickens as well. And Zatek was the go-to place for people to buy chicken from in that particular you know area, which was a very very big area so he said you know let me go and start asking people what do they need why do they go to Zatek you know he did his research before he now went on and then he realized some of the things that you know this other company wasn't doing or maybe he realized and he also realized that there was a space that it was actually far for a lot of people so he said you know what this market I'm actually going to target them I'm going to speak to them I'll probably even reduce my price so that people can buy buy from me and sometimes you don't need to reduce your price just because you want to you know compete you can go higher you can be the same. It just depends on what your product is and the kind of you know impute to that product. You no, know, one thing that is amazing about what you do now. Number one, you don't write a book where you educate more businesses. Now, I, I like the fact that you don't come outside tell people say for you to start a business, make sure that that business will be solution to a problem. Yes. Not just start and because say Luchi they do something where they mm -hmm. sell for her, so mm -hmm. you won't do them. Make sure say your business is a solution to a problem in your community. And trust me, investors will surely come in. Yeah. And also you get a particular event coming up very soon where you want to give people where you get good business money to take start them up yeah. tell us about them okay so the AGS um, um, enterprise challenge AGS? AGS is accessing grants for startup that's the name of my book okay so the enterprise challenge is to help female businesses female led businesses you know scale up because I know a lot of women don't really take advantage of opportunities and I'm very passionate about the empowerment of women so I just thought okay how can I help these people how can I you know showcase them and motivate them so that they can you know take advantage of the opportunities that are available in Nigeria and Africa as a whole because just being an entrepreneur in Africa is already a big deal. Like Africa is like a sleeping giant. And when <laughs> they actually no. wake up, it's going to be a big deal. So mm -hmm. people need to plug in. And I want women to be at the forefront of that. So I said, OK, since I have you know, some sort of relationship with the Lagos State government, like um, the governor of Lagos State did the forward of my book. Right. And I also spoke to a couple of other people, investors and all of that. So I said, OK, how can I showcase these women so that people can start looking at women? That's when I decided to come up with this challenge. And I've gotten a lot of you know, support from different people, the investors, you know, Lagos State government, one of the, the senior special advisor on wealth creation is actually going to be one of the judges. It's amazing. But how can well. people plug into this? They, okay, so p p people just need to upload a video of themselves on Instagram. A one-minute video on Instagram, pitching their business, pitching, you know, what is different about their business and they also need to talk about what they want to use the money for. So the, the top five um, participants or top five videos or who are, you know, who seem more credible will be shortlisted and they'll come and present their video, their, um, you know, they'll come and present it live to an audience and also the judges. Is, so there, the, is there a deadline for this and which handle, where on top Instagram, is it that they just upload it or do they have to tag yes. a certain handle or... Yes, so they action? upload it on Instagram and they need to tag hashtag AGS tribe and they also need to hashtag AGS pitch competition. And once you, once you do that, you need to make sure your page is not private so that anybody can okay, you know, see this video. And this is also a form of publicity for you. So you need to make sure that your video is on point. Some people have just, you know, they've not taken their time to you know, put up proper videos, you know, even if you don't win, is also, an, is also what do they stand some to get? form of... What do they stand to get? Okay, they, they stand to get um, 1.5 million naira, the winner. The first runner-up, 1.5 million, million naira. naira. The second runner-up gets 
um, 500,000 and the first runner up gets 1 million naira. They also get um, a free workspace for, that's all of them, all the winners get a free workspace for three months at lead space and they also get mentoring from some of the top business people in Nigeria. Is there an age limit for the women or there's, is there a deadline? There's for no the age limit but the deadline is on Saturday. Which is tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. So wow. you can do it today. If yes. you know so you wow. get business where they're very cajad, oh yeah, start today do I'm now because opportunity don't there for you to chopulate 1.5 million naira or 500,000 or 1 or million. One, 1 million, one million. Yes. 1.5, 1, 1, 1 million and 500,000. Yes. And then you will still get space for your business, three mm -hmm. months space for yes. your business. Yes. This is amazing. Thank What's you. What's your handle much. on Instagram, I beg? My handle is at Ifedro Simi Eti. So it's I F E D U R O S I N, N for November, M I. E double T I. So oh, that's e my handle on Instagram. Fantastic. Uh, just to give them a little bit, sorry, just to give her a little bit clue. Now she talks, say, sell yourself. Please. Not just go there, talk, say, just lie down for a chair. They talk, say, I they sell um, Ankara. To me. <laughs> sell yourself properly. Don't tell us about your family problems. Sell that business. Of course. Thank yes. you so much for coming in. Thank you so this much morning. for this having a, me. This has been very informative. Yes. I mean, I just, I just wish the deadline can be moved. I'm just praying. But anyway. When is the event? The event is next Thursday. Next, next Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, so if I be you, I for just come out for where I did now. Halele, walk out of Instagram with the hashtag <laughs> which you don't come outside talk and sell yourself. If you know win, but you don't know who they watch, who they're interested in that your business where you get and who understand the passion where you get for your business. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.